Good morning, Falcons. Happy Thursday and happy Friday. In honor of our continued recognition of Black History Month, today we'd like to talk about and recognize the Tuskegee Airmen. The Tuskegee Airmen were the first Black military aviators in the U.S. Army Air Corps, a precursor of the U.S. Air Force. Trained at the Tuskegee Army Airfield in Alabama, they flew more than 15,000 individual sorties in Europe and North Africa during World War II. Their impressive performance earned them more than 150 distinguished flying crosses and helped encourage the eventual integration of the U.S. Armed Forces. So without further ado, I'm going to show you a short video in honor of the Tuskegee Airmen and have a great day. Thanks. The 99th, along with other squadrons, later formed the 332nd Fighter Group in Europe, their planes boasting tails painted bright red. In Europe, the airmen would fly more than 15,000 sorties, completing an unequaled 1,500 combat missions, all while showing great courage, skill, and dedication. Among their decorations, 150 distinguished flying crosses. Squadron leader Benjamin O. Davis Jr. would eventually rise to the rank of three-star general, receiving a fourth star post-retirement. The Tuskegee Airmen were deactivated in 1946. The experiment a great success, but more than that, the brave flyers had proved themselves in combat, and their performance helped pave the way for desegregation of the military in 1948. Today, the National Park Service's Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site in Alabama helps tell their story and preserves their memory for all time. Mm -hmm. 